Hi guys, welcome to another video of Shutter and Gavages. Uh, yesterday was really exciting for us. I mean, two reasons. First of all, I'm a developer and second, I'm really curious about technology in general. And that is why WWDC 2020 was uh, really... I mean, it was... Uh, the leaks failed. The leaks were uh, not true, most of them. So it was, you know, the excitement was back to WWDC. It was not something like that, you know, everything. Uh, you walked into it blindly, it seems like that. So I won't be wasting much of your time. I'll just uh, give a brief summary in this impressions video of what was uh, announced in WWDC 2020. And uh, before starting, I'd like to add that uh, yesterday Apple was really, really good with the cinematography. I mean, a tech company, uh, I know they have their Apple TV Plus division now, but they're really showing it off. I mean, the transitions, the drone shots, everything. It was like, they're flexing out to other companies like, look, this is how a presentation, even online ones are done. So, I mean, that was completely, that blew, uh, blew my mind away. That was very good. I was really happy and surprised. I was asking one of my friend, what is this happening? Why is this, uh, how is this shots happening that I saw? a tweet uh, and then I realized that it's just a drone shot and it was very beautiful the transitions and everything so without wasting much time let's just start uh, you can have a look I'm already using the iOS 14 the developer uh, beta version it was available yesterday night so if I have to summarize in a sentence iOS 14 is it seems a big release but it's not actually that big of a release because Majorly the, the changes are on the front and home screen and you know design overhaul There is not much of a change on on the how iOS works. It's still the same inside The first big change in iOS 14 is app library. It's kind of intelligent uh, folder you can call it intelligent folders where uh, apps are automatically grouped into different folders and they are shown in bigger icons so that's again a very useful feature uh, it will make your home screen a little less cluttered next thing is the widgets uh, with the widgets the widgets earlier used to be in the uh, when you swipe left from the home screen sorry yeah when you swipe left from the home screen the widgets used to be there but now you can place them on home screen just like iPad and uh, you can place two or three any number of widgets you want on the screen. Uh, the fun thing about widgets is that there is one uh, mode where you can stack them in on top of one another. So it will show you the right widget as per your need or as it learns your uh, behavior. And uh, this I found a little uh, buggy at the moment, but I think it can be a good f feature like you can see your calendar, weather and uh, many more things like that. Other thing is picture in picture. So Android has picture in picture since I think Android 7 or 8, but finally iPhone has it too. Right now it's only working on Apple TV because YouTube and other apps are not updated. But uh, there's nothing special about picture in picture on any phone. It's just the way it is. And uh, I think it should have been done on iOS a little earlier. But uh, never say never. It's finally here in iOS 14. Siri has a new UI. Uh, earlier Siri used to, you know, take whole screen when you talk to her or uh, ask a question or anything related to that. Now Siri is more like, you know, small little icon on the bottom. So it doesn't take whole your screen. And I think uh, it looks better than Google Assistant. Again, just by looks, I'm not saying that Google uh, Siri is better than Google Assistant. I'm just saying that it looks better than Google Assistant on. And there are a lot of more features added to Siri. So, you know, if, like every year, it is more smarter now. So let's hope. And uh, another major change is in messages. Messages are, you know, you can now uh, pin your most favorite chats on top. That is again very needful feature. Like, uh, 
as we get a lot of OTP messages, transactional messages, and you know a lot of SMS uh, spam messages. So the people we talk regularly, you know, their chats get lost, and with this, they'll be always on top, and you can talk to them. There are new memojis. Uh, there is one emoji with uh, a mask on. So it's like you know, with the world, Apple is also changing. Uh, we all are kind of accepting the life that we are living with the mask on and you know it is like a fashion statement now i cannot say it's a fashion statement that's a wrong sentence but it's more like it's a part of our life now we cannot deny it we cannot run from it we have to use it for our safety and i wish everybody is using masks it really protects you uh, and there are a lot of improvements on group chats uh, so you know you can now reply to a specific message like WhatsApp in group chats only. Other than that, One of the major things I like about in group chats is, you know, the group icon. It will show you the most active members and their photo will be a little enlarged. You can also place your own photo. But uh, I found the one with, you know, the members available in the group chat a little interesting. And I'll be definitely trying it soon. Uh, so our phones are already our wallet, our camera and a lot of things but now with iOS 14 our phones are our car key so using NFC your iPhone will be your car key also so you can use iPhone to unlock your car and uh, I don't know but it's it is going to be available in 2021 BMW M5 series and later on a lot of cars will follow it uses NFC but uh, I'm a little skeptical about this feature because you know uh, if you lose your phone you lose your car also so a thief only has to uh, take your phone and it's like he gets a car in the gift I mean that's a meme that is trending on Twitter today so apologies for that okay there is one more interesting thing it is like instant apps but uh, Apple's take on instant app uh, they have named it app clips so what is that is like you cannot have all the apps on your phone and with, in today's world we need a lot of apps like there are times when i need one app just for one f feature or one use so what developers can do they can make a small section of their app as app clips where you can just you know using nfc or a qr code or something like that you can uh, just uh, start the app use that feature that is required and just go ahead with your life so i think that will make our lives a little easier and a little better uh other welcome change is the phone ui the phone ui used to you know cover up the whole screen now it's a very small section at the top it looks really good i've tried it I'll... so uh for me, the biggest change is uh, the home screen. I mean, I have been using iPhone from iPhone 6, but uh, this overall change is really good. Uh, you can see I'm running it on the developer beta on my phone. And uh, other than that, there are small changes here and there. Overall, it's a very welcome update. I always wanted to see this change in iOS and see the home screen change and, you know, uh, look more modern, uh, if I have to quote that look more modern and more uh, appealing to eye thank you so much for watching guys the, there is two part to the video the next part will be coming within 24 hours the next part will have watch os and mac os uh, impressions and later on it will be followed by a review for all the, the upgrades provided by apple so stay tuned and thank you so much for watching